Anna Chaplaincy is a really flexible approach to ministry amongst older people. Our network of Anna Chaplains around the UK offers spiritual support in later life in many different contexts. They're supported by teams of Anna friends, typically seven or eight Anna friends to every chaplain. And that means there's hundreds of people caring and supporting older people in our country. I'm here today in the estate called Hillock, which is near Bury in Greater Manchester, to meet an amazing new team of Anna chaplains and Anna friends ministering here on this estate where there are many older people living alone, experiencing great isolation and loneliness. They make a huge difference to people's lives and we'll hear a bit more from them now. When I visit uh, somebody, there's a lady that um, I visit, uh, Jean, and her friend, uh, Evelyn. Uh, we have a chat, I listen to them. It's a lot of listening and uh, being, being there for them and helping in any way I can. Jean, what does it mean to you to have Fran visiting you at home? It means a lot because when you live on your own, you're always grateful for somebody to call, and especially certain people, because she's, she's so kind. She is, yeah. honestly. Thank you, Lord, for Jean. And we thank you for her encouragement to other people, and also her friendship to me, Lord. I do appreciate that. And we just give thanks, Lord, for what you've done in Jean's life. Okay, do you feel better? Fine. Fine, thank you. God love you. All right. I think there is quite a lot of poverty on the estate, which is why we've got the food pantry and the charity shop. We developed the um, Anna Chaplaincy as a mission partnership. That's ourselves at St Andrews, my other church, St George's, and All Saints Stand. I would love to see Anna Chaplaincy rolled out across the mission community and even the wider diocese. Uh, there's a real need for uh, visiting uh, the men in the, in the parish really and also I've come to the drop-in centre a lot as well. So those are the main things which I, which I do here. We're just today licensing a new Anna friend who um, has been a part of the church for years and has been visiting older people for years so she's becoming an Anna friend as, almost as an affirmation of the work that she's already been doing. It's a card called The Journey. As you both begin this journey as Anna friends, may God bless you both. We're so pleased to have spent time with this growing team of Anna chaplains and Anna friends. And it's a privilege to see them as they serve older people on this estate and in their localities. But now I'm going to hand over to a team in the southeast of England where the focus is on dementia care. Today's Anna chaplains, some of them in the older age bracket themselves with time to offer post-retirement, minister to people of strong, little or no faith at all. They're Christian chaplains, but offer spiritual, emotional care and religious care when and where appropriate to men and women of any and every walk of life. They've developed expertise in supporting people living with dementia and those in residential care. To help other churches understand dementia, I've trained as a Dementia Friends champion and have um, delivered a lot of Dementia Friends sessions. I don't think God loses interest in us as we grow older and I'm so grateful to BRF for believing in this concept and helping to incubate what was a small grassroots initiative and scaling it up into what it is now, 
a significant national voice in raising awareness and improving the standard of spiritual care for all older people. With God's help, we are steadily progressing towards our vision of seeing an Anna Chaplin in every small to medium-sized community in the land.